back to my channel it's your girl charisma to all my new k squad members welcome to my family let's jump right into this review okay y'all so we are back with another wig review today we're talking about the outre perfect hairline 13 by 6 fully hand tight lace wig her name is etienne 26 inch i have her in the color drst2 slash chocolate caramel Pick this up over at HairToBeauty.com for $66.99 and I will link everything in the bottom box below if and when you want to go ahead and purchase her. And while I am doing my talking, let me go ahead and send a big shout out to Outre for sponsoring this video today. Thank you, sis. We love you, Outre. Mm, smooches. Anywho, this dress is cute, but it's hella tight. But let me go ahead and try to show it to y'all, girl. This is cute. <laughs> girl, this is cute. I'm going to link the dress below, you guys, from House of CB. I think this is just so cute. I've had this dress for so long. Like, I have so many clothes that I could wear for filming that I just don't wear. Like, what is wrong with me? Like, I saw this and was like, oh, this is go cute with the hair. But anywho, let's just go ahead and get into the juju of Miss Etty and Girl. So this comes with your standard two combs in the front, one comb in the back with your adjustable strap that also comes with that nice little strap I love. That big, big, big elastic strap in the back. This is a lace front wig, fully hand tight 13 by 6 front. So HD transparent lace. No plucking required at all. Adjustable wide elastic band like I just talked about. And this is going to be heat styling friendly, safe up to 400 degrees. And this is also big head girl friendly from ear to ear, 13.5 inches. From front to back, it is 14.25 inches. So for all my big head girls and my small head girls, it's gonna fit you great, sis. Now, let's just go ahead and talk about Etienne. So, you guys already know how I feel about perfect hairlines. Some days I get it right, some days I don't. So, I had I was struggling with the perfect hairline today, man, but it came out the way that I wanted it, and I was cool with it. Let's get into the color, you guys. DRST2 slash chocolate caramel. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Look at the color on Miss Etienne. Yes, ma'am. Love the browns, love the lights of the blondes. Oh, this is so pretty. Love the dark root. I'm definitely living for the color, you guys. Now, as far as the hair texture is concerned, this is going to be a soft, yakky texture. The density is perfect on Miss Etienne. No tracks that I feel going throughout the unit. She's definitely a thicker unit, I would say. Also, this is teetering on the heavy side. Now, summertime is here. I'm not going to lie to you, sisters. If you rock Etienne in the summer, baby, especially if you live in the South like I do in Houston, ma'am, it's going to be a sweat fest up under your wig. Now, you only need to wear this if you're trying to look cute, okay? This is not your everyday unit. This is definitely giving glam. This is definitely giving we are not wearing this every day. But we will go ahead and deal with the sweat, ma'am, because Etienne is very, very beautiful. But this is not a summer wig at all. Not for the South, baby girl. But you know we can still rock it if we want to, okay? Now, this is going to be a 13 by 6, meaning that there is going to be 6 inches down this way, 13 inches across. And you can pretty much part this in that vicinity if you want to go middle, left, right, up, down you definitely can do that i opted for a right side part with miss etienne and i'm very very pleased with it now let's just go ahead and get into the lace so this comes with hd transparent lace it says no plucking required for me i really do think that you need to pluck especially in the front as far as the lace is concerned the lace never matches uh our skin tone you guys already know that but hey i still have to reiterate that so you're definitely going to have to go in with your lace tint spray or whatever product you have to make sure that that lace is definitely hitting on that melt okay girl now once again the lace itself i love the lace itself i love because it's very easy to work with you guys and as far as the behind the ear test you definitely can do that because it comes with a natural contour for a realistic hairline so you definitely can go behind the ear if you want to you guys i'm going to zoom in a little bit and show you guys how natural it looks behind the ear so you definitely can take her behind the ear if you want to once again it's just going to be up to you as far as the lace is concerned the lace goes all the way behind my ears i don't know if that's because i have a smaller sized head i am on the peanut side but the lace goes all the way behind your ears so i definitely had to cut 
a lot of the lace because it was uncomfortable and I do not like lace sitting behind my ears like that you guys so I had to cut the lace a little bit more than usual just to make sure that it was a bit comfortable back there I also have some of the lace tucked behind my ear as well you do not have to do that but that's the only way I feel comfortable with the wig but I, I will say I do not like when those when that lace is it, it just goes too far back for me but then again they're trying to fit so you know different size head shapes so I get it you just have to adjust this lace to fit your own size head okay now also this is a 26 inch long unit you guys if you're not into long thick curly units this is definitely not going to be the unit for you she is very long and the layers are long as well really would have loved if these front layers would have been a little bit shorter but they are super long you guys which kind of weighs the unit down depending on how you style her so i wasn't here for the very long layers in the front but i am here for the layers face framing especially with the color scheme i think it's absolutely gorgeous but i would have loved for there to be shorter layers towards the front of the unit because it doesn't look like it you guys but these layers here i have it you know swooped but the layers are like the front layers are like right to here they're like really really long so you have those layers then you have the second layer here and then you have all of the 26 inch at the bottom so if you like I said if you're not into longer units this is definitely not going to be the unit for you and I know I did say it's on the heavier side which it is but it's weird it's like it's lightweight and it's heavy at the same time I just think that it's a lot of hair per se Either way, it's a lot of hair. And then the parting space on this is great. Once again, right side part went in with my concealer. I was pretty much good to go. And I love the parting space in this because it looks so natural. So definitely here for the frontal effects and with the party, it looks super natural. And I'm definitely here for that as well. I do love all the body in the unit. I love that it's bouncy. I love that it's flowy. It looks extremely natural. So we're definitely here for the body. Sometimes wigs do not have the natural body that they need to have in the unit knowing that this is a synthetic unit we want it to look as natural as possible and that includes body so you want to make sure that your unit is bouncy flowy and it flows with you you do not want a stiff wig I cannot stand stiff wigs ma'am so this is definitely flowing it has beautiful body in it so I'm loving that about the unit as well the unit also comes with natural baby hair that I did utilize you guys so just at the top I did utilize a little bit of the baby hair and I was pretty much good to go did not want the baby hair splattered all over my forehead you guys already know how i feel about that there's it's so funny on tiktok there's like debate about baby hair like if you should use it if you shouldn't use it everybody is different some girls love a lot of baby hair some girls don't want any baby hair at all that would be me or sometimes I utilize a very teeny amount because I want the unit to look as natural as possible. So, you know, you do what you will with your unit, you guys, but there is like a whole damn debate on TikTok. Um, wigs are subjective. You guys can't, y'all you, can't be telling people what to do with their units. You know, let people work, work their unit how they want to. And if I don't want no baby hair, then so that's my business, girl. And as far as styling the unit, you guys, <laughs> let's get into it. So I tried a different method. I went ahead and used, you know, my even lace spray. You know, I sprayed the lace first or whatever after I put the little color down on there. And I didn't like how it looked. So I pretty much unattached it from my, you know, my forehead, pulled it down a little bit more. And I loved how that looked. So I went ahead and did that, utilized a little bit of baby hair that I wanted to utilize in it. And you guys already know that I sprayed it to the 90s with my Ion hairspray, you guys, because I love a good swoop and I don't want the swoop to move. So I made sure that it was nice and still. I also went in with my wax stick right at the crown of the unit for the hair to blend more went in with my hot comb on top of the wax stick because once again we want the unit to blend 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 we want it to look as natural as possible also went in with my anastasia bronzing powder which i think kind of melted it in there but it's so hard with lace that is so not your shade so i did what i could man but no the unit is not glued down on the left or the right side anymore it's just glued down in the middle because i was struggling with the unit you guys already know it is a hit or miss with me in perfect and melted hairlines like sometimes i get it right 
Sometimes I get it wrong and I'm just like, whatever. But thank God I know how to style a wig to where you don't have to really see all the chaos that's going on, you know, with this lace girl, cause it's a mess. But the styling, it wasn't too bad when you, you know, take away the blow drying, the spraying, all that. It wasn't too bad, but I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna have to really get in where you fit in with this unit. You may have to pluck it as well. So you're gonna be in the mirror with this probably 15 to 20 minutes, or if you are a pro, maybe 10 minutes. So I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I do love the final result, but all that other extra work, girl, I am 45, my hands be hurt, and I got arthritis in my fingers, I think, child, my arms, my damn muscles be hurt. I don't got time to be wagging with all that, okay? I be wanting to put this mutt on and get it, okay, girl? But I still was happy with the final result. Now, as far as shading and tangling, ma'am, you are definitely going to get both. I have not gotten any really, I mean, the unit is fairly soft. Hands are kind of running right through her, but I can feel on the ends that this is definitely going to be a tangler. Obviously, it's long, it's curly, it has waves in it, and it's a soft, yakky texture. You're definitely gonna get both, especially at the nape there. So once again, just depends on how long you wear your unit, how well you take care of your unit, but you're definitely going to get both. Not getting any right now, but like I said, you're definitely going to get both. It's a synthetic unit. I mean, come on. Now, this unit does come in 11 different colors, with, I believe, nine of those being specialty colors. I am wearing the specialty color. I will say to get the specialty color, especially if you want the uh, color to, you know, frame your face. But they do come in beautiful different colors. I love the color schemes on Outre units. They are killing the game with these colors, you guys. Remember, you're going to pay up to 3 to $6 extra for your specialty color if you decide to choose one. And let's just talk about the price. This is sitting at $66.99, basically $70. Bucks. Remember, on Heritage Beauty, you can use the 25% uh, off coupon or the 35% off coupon just depends but you're still going to come out at almost 50 to 60 dollars for the unit you guys that is a bit pricey in my opinion I know that this is a lot of hair I know that it's constructed well but once again $70 for a synthetic unit girl y'all tried it and you know what when I go to beauty supplies they're $79. I've seen a lot of units that I've reviewed that are like $70 that are not even worth it. And I'm just like, why are they taxing us? Like, do y'all know how much gas costs, ma'am? Ain't nobody trying to pay no 70 bucks for no wig, sis, stop. But once again, on this website and numerous websites, you can always utilize the coupon codes. And the more units you buy within your basket, the less you have to pay. So I'm just trying to give you guys some type of means to save some coinage. But in my opinion, the wig is expensive, ma'am. But I think if you are wearing it for a special occasion, a night out, whatever, it's definitely going to be worth it, you guys. You can get a lot of wear out of Etienne as long as you don't wear her every single day. It will pay for itself. So final thoughts on the price. It is priced too high. I think this should have been a $50 unit, but once again, that's just Charisma's opinion. So my final thoughts on Etienne is that one, I love her. I think she's absolutely beautiful for a special occasion, weddings, pictures, going out, Instagram snaps, whatever. I think she's gorgeous for that. Do not think this is an everyday unit at all. I think she was priced a little bit too high as well. Do not like the longer layers in the front. But other than that, I think the wig is great. She's fitting me perfectly. I'm not uncomfortable at all. I love the style, love the waves, love the big barrel curls. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. But yes, ma'am, those are the final thoughts. I definitely want to give this my Christmas stamp of approval. So you guys run, don't walk to Heritage Beauty and pick Miss Etienne. Okay, dog, that's pretty much it for my review. If you enjoyed my content today, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as the sub button. That's my face popping up on the screen. That is the subscribe button. Go ahead and sub to the K-Squad right now. Also, don't forget to follow me on all social media at Charisma's World on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay beautiful and blessed. Moisturize that skin. Black women and women of color, keep your skin moisturized, especially in the summer, ma'am. And if you want to hear more tea on that, hit my TikTok. You guys have a great one. Bye.